Hello, this is the Cobra RM4140V, which is a rotary mower, battery powered. It's got a 41 centimeter or 16 inch rotary cut, and it's also got a rear roller to give you a beautiful stripe on your lawn. So this is how the box arrives with you and the mower. So we're gonna open it up, have a look inside, take everything out, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to put together so you can start mowing. So really well packed just to keep it safe in transit and we've got everything we need in here so we've got batteries and the charger instruction manual any clips that we need and then i'm going to take off all this protective packing and we can lift it out and start to put it together i'm going to take all this protective packing off and then we can get it out and it's quite a heavy mower this one so it's easier if there are two people to just lift it out of the box Everything you need is in the box. We've got the mower, we've got the chargers, the battery, all the necessary things to fasten it together, and of course the grass box. So what we've got to do to start with is to take off all the protective films and coverings that are on there to keep it nice and safe in transit. And once we've got all of this off, we can then start and put it together, which is a really easy thing to do. first thing we want to do is to get the handle in place and it's partly put together already but we just need to finish it off so we have two of these bolt handle knobs here so what we need to do just to make sure we can put it together is to take them to bits to start with so just take off the red twisty bit at the top so we'll do that with both of these and take the washer off as well so we'll need those when we reassemble it and then it's very simple it's just a case of lifting the bars up like this and if you want to you can just bend that one back over just to make this first bit a little bit easier the bars of the handles are going to go inside this red frame here and you can see there is a metal lug there and that's going to go through that hole there and then just a little bit of pressure will put that one into place so that will hold them there and hinge them and then we've got three different settings, three holes here and you can adjust it to suit your needs. If you're taller you'll want the handlebars to be higher, if you're shorter like me you'll want them a little bit lower. So we adjust them to suit, so I'm going to put these in uh, on the middle setting just for ease and we're going to do it so that the bolt goes from the inside outwards. So it's just a case of holding it up, pushing the bolt through like that and then we can put the washer onto it on the end and then we can then reapply this knob on the end and then we're just going to repeat this at this side so it really is very quick and easy to put together this one washer on there and again we can just tighten that back on there start them off and then spin them on and tighten it up so these both need now to be tight to hold this firmly in place and then it's simply a case of lifting the back part of the handlebar taking care that we don't trap the cable it's very easy to trap the cable in there and if you trap it it can cause damage so making sure the cable is free and then it's got these little clamps on there that just basically lift up like that they're spring loaded and they're already pre-adjusted and that one locks it into place. If you want to take those off to fold the handlebar down for storage, they're very easy to release. And then we just put the handlebar down to put it into a shed or a garage or the back of a car. But for mowing, we need them in the upright position. So let's put them back as they should be. And then finally on the handlebars, um, we need to make sure that this cable isn't flapping around. And we have got a little plastic clip here. And it's just simply a case of slotting that over the cable and then putting it onto one of the metal tubes and clamping it down into place uh, and just making sure that we've got that nice and neat and tidy and it won't come to any harm. So that is the mower now ready. Next thing we need to do is to get the grass box ready to put on the back of the mower. So the grass box, which we obviously need to use if we're collecting the grass clippings there, just needs a little bit of very simple assembly. Um, part of it is to put the handle on so that you can pick it up very easily. I'm going to put that on first and it's very easy to put on. Uh, it only fits on one way so we put this little lug into there and then that 
sits into place and then to hold it firmly underneath we need to put a screw and the screw is in this little bag here so that's what the single screw is for and then that just locates the hole there we'll just start that off by hand and then if you've got a short screwdriver that makes it much easier to get your hand in and do it so it's just then a case of tightening that so that it's nice and firmly into place there we go that's secured the handle nice and firm and then what we need to do is just to clip the bag onto this uh, steel framework there and it's really simple to do it's just a case as you can see it's all rubberized it's just opening that like that and clipping it on and then we do the same with this one this goes from the inside out there's only one way you can do it so you can't go wrong and if I just turn that one over again push that on the inside like that open the clip on and it goes so that is now fastened all the way around and the last thing you need to do otherwise you won't be able to attach this to the mower just for protection in transit it's got these little plastic caps on here so we need to just twist them off like that so it reveals the the hook that will go onto the back of the mower so they need to come off otherwise you'll never be able to fix it to put it on the back of the mower it's very simple all we do is lift up this flap here and we can see the roller down there and it just hooks in over the springs there and there so that holds it nice and firmly and then of course when you put the spring loaded flap back it isn't going to go anywhere at all so that is it that is the mower assembled it's very easy it only takes a few minutes so now what we need to do is to get out the battery and the charger and get it ready to insert inside the mower we need to make sure that the battery is fully charged before we put it in. So we've got here the charger, so we can take the charger out and then the battery, and it does remind you on the label there, please charge before the initial use in the mower. And that is really important because there will be some factory charge already in it, but it just prolongs the life of the battery if you fully charge it to start with. And that is our battery there, it's 40 volt lithium I am battery and all it does is slot into the charger very easily and clicks into place like that. So we do that, let it charge and full instructions and care instructions are provided with both the charger and the battery so please please do read those, it is quite important that you do. What happens is when we put it onto the charger we have a red light to say that it's charging and a flashing green light down there that says that it is in the charging process. When it is fully charged, that flashing green light will become a solid light and the red light will go off. While the batteries are charging, we've got one more thing to do with the mower. You will have this one component left, which is a small black plastic key, and that is essential to be able to start the mower. And if we lift the flap here, the battery compartment, that's where the battery will go when it's charged, you'll see there is a small keyhole there, a slot for that to go into, and it's got two settings, a zero and a one. And in order to start the mower, we have to click it round onto one, and then we can. When it goes to the zero, it won't work. And as a safety device, it's always good to take that out when you're not using the mower, then nobody can accidentally start it and cause any accidents. So that is a vital piece for your mower to work. The battery is now charged so we can insert that so into the compartment just push the red button to lift it. It only goes in one way and it just needs a, a good solid click to put it in position. And remember we need to put the key in the slot and turn it to the on position. So the mower is now ready to start. So let's just have a look at the controls here. It's all very simple. On the back of the handlebar, we've got a battery indicator. We push the button and it shows the amount of power in the battery there. And then to start this one, there is a red button here that we have to depress. And we've got black buttons around the handlebar. We can push any of those. So we push that one, start it off, and away it goes. And to stop, we just release. And to start again, we have to go through that procedure, red button, black button. So it really, really is easy to operate. And just finally, remember that you've got all the instructions on the care of the battery and of the mower supplied. So keep them safe and do refer to them. 
And with lithium ion batteries, remember you don't have to let them fully discharge before you charge them up. And we recommend that once you've finished mowing, take it out and charge it up again. And in the winter, make sure the battery is charged and stored somewhere above five degrees C, just to make the battery last longer. Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk and always have your Cobra serviced regularly. Check the website for your nearest dealer.